Onivia. League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. And be somewhat similar thought process going for the Syndra into Phoenix's Orianna. There's a lot of magic damage on their side, though. The only real physical damage threat is going to be from Apollo's Caitlyn. So gold coin United out. Lyra once again wrapping around behind Santorin. Has vision of this, knows what's going on. Gonna collapse onto Lyra here, gets Ooh. halted by Varus. Chain of Crusher lands, collateral damage finds it, and first blood goes to MASH. Oh, Lyra, the superstar for Team Envy is the first one away. The blue buff goes over to Lyra. It's going on Envy's side of the map, whether he likes it or not. Actually, equalizers are being used there by Sarah, trying to zone out from Santorin and Phoenix. As Phoenix tries to catch on the ninja, but he's walking into Lyra, and he wants it going down. Yeah, Sarah shoots that ultimate max range, cutting off where Phoenix was. The Tanky Nautilus, who has built up the Spirit Vision and Mercury Tread for himself. I'm sorry, Spectre's Cowl. Phoenix is going to get stunned up in the mid lane. That flash is aggressively. Now Phoenix is going to wind up going down. Equalizer did not tag an assist, but winds up getting used and forces the flash out of Mad Life. Now Lyra has shown up, and it's a double kill picked up for Ninja. Uh oh, Envy starting to run away with this game. Safety farm on their own side of the map. And continuing to deny farm against Santorin in the bottom lane here. Meanwhile, Ninja goes aggressive in the mid lane, goes on a killing spree, dodges out. Piercing arrows through multiple members of that team will be doing a lot of damage to them. An auto attack fight is not exactly what GCU want to wind up going for. It's Phoenix going to get caught out here. Zanya's hourglass there from Sarah. Phoenix is taken low and the kick comes in from Lyra to pick up a kill onto him. Now MASH gets tagged up with the Sonic Wave. Resonating Strike will not follow. Discipline here from Envy there. Forced down onto this Baron buff. It gets scouted out by the Blue Trinket and now GCU is TPing in. Not the most conservative play. They don't have the most damage either, but Solo's gonna wind up teleporting in. The bullet time gets challenged here by Madlife. The Equalizer goes out, and Madlife will wind up going down. The Zanya's Hourglass is used already by Ninja. Solo's gonna get melted as Seraph goes golden as well. He's gonna wind up trading his life for that one, but they've locked down onto Mash, and Envy comes out ahead. Envy able to get a three for one off that Baron bait. Solo have not yet respond. It's gonna be hard for them to find any opportunity to take this one back. Gonna be a free Baron for Team Envy 30 minutes into the game. The Caitlyn Trap Wall preventing anybody from GCU from contesting. That is going to be Baron. As the Baron buff will be expiring in just a little bit. Of course, the extra duration from Lyra keeping that one alive a little bit longer. Solo's gonna get strangled by the Stranglethorns. Command shot with locked down the Ninja and Lyra. It's gonna be one shutdown here as the Guardian Angel gets popped by Solo. So they will want to take down an inhibitor tower. They lose Ninja and they get the Guardian Angel from Solo. Able to quick Silver Sash for himself. So if he gets locked up by something, he will be able to just utilize that to get out. Goes in, uses Santorin to kick Phoenix back in. That's Oriana down. There's no command. Shockwave left open. Bullet time tries to go across the members of Envy, but they've chunked out Mash. They've chunked out Santorin and they Still take. There. And with that, Bear Buff is all too free. They grab that one. They're going to reset before heading in for this final. Baron buffed up Envy. This could be the last fight. Solo is just melting. That's supposed to be the tank line. Guardian Angel gets popped. Seraph does wind up going down, so it's top laner for top laner. Traded back and forth, but there are multiple super minions in the base of GCU. They have to fall back to defend. Mad Life will tank up the ace in the hole, but one Nexus Tower is down. Only one left between Envy and the summer split of the North minions. American LCS. They've popped Phoenix. They've popped multiple members of GCU. And Team Envy, welcome back to the North American LCS. A long, grueling road for Envy there. Goes the distance in the final match of the promotion tournament, earning their spot back into the LCS. Got to be a huge relief for the team. You see the ore coming up behind them, congratulating them on a hard-fought victory and a very tense game five. Hard-fought does not even begin to describe this. Full five-game series against Gold Coin United. Coming back from early game deficits, shaping up their objective control, working together as a team when their superstar jungler fell behind. Team Envy earned this spot. Right, I think this is a time that you can say the team really did play well. Ninja had a good series overall, not just a good game five. He was able to bounce back from a lot of the problems he was having earlier on in this tournament. It was a huge